Growing ginger in Virginia. Specialty crops, high tunnel production. For Virginia State University's Randolph Farm and a special grant from the Virginia Department of Agriculture, Razor Raffi and Chris Mullins examine the feasibility for small growers to grow ginger in Virginia. Growing ginger in Virginia requires skill and attention to certain details. Selecting quality disease-free seed stock, sanitation practices in handling the seed and the growing media and growing environment. Planting, whether it be in containers or in the ground in high tunnels. How to grow on fertilizing and watering and mounding up the developing rhizomes. And finally, harvesting and marketing the final product. Actually, what you see in here is a good seed, a good seed piece, what we call it for ginger. And what's the characteristic of a good seed piece for ginger? It's shiny, it's clean, it's fresh, and it has eyes on the seed piece or rhizomes. So that is the characteristic of a good seed, and you want it to be at least minimum two ounces in weight. And in, in contrast to that, if you look at this seed, uh, this is a seed that I would not plant. If you look at the seed, you could see that it actually has a uh, uh, problem and diseases and it's an old seed. You plant this one, uh, you start with the bad seeds like this, you end up uh, losing your plants eventually. Again, this is another. We've selected this quality seed, nice eyes, it's clean material, no diseases. We've separated them, we've done a bleach treatment, we've let them dry. Now what do we do? So do you get uh, you get the, your one gallon pot, but this is usually done in February, and we do it in a greenhouse. It has to be maintained when you plant it in February in a warm place. It could be in uh, in a warm room uh, if you want to start growing them on a small scales, or if you want to grow them commercially on big numbers of uh -huh. them, you need to keep them in a greenhouse in February. You just uh, bring uh, your one gallon pot, and then. Uh, fill it up to up to half of it with uh, with Fafford, uh, Fafford the soilless media okay. and then you just simply uh, so it's just a mix of peat and just exactly. perlite and, right. and micronutrients and then, so you just uh, yeah. you fill it up with half of that and then you you remove some of the soil in your uh, in your uh, uh, one gallon pot you plant your uh, seed in there uh, you put it flat and then you simply uh, cover the seeds with uh, up to two inches of, uh, of uh, soilless media. You don't want to plant it too deep because if it's too deep, it's going to take longer for, uh, for, the, for the seed piece to germinate. It would take probably up to uh, three to four weeks under Just really warm condition. It's extremely important. 70, 75? Actually 80 to 85. 80 and to 85. have that temperature. The, the warmer you keep it, the faster it germinates. It's extremely important to keep it in a warm place and you even don't have to give it too much water. Just keep it moist um, probably once every 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 week. Uh, give moist it a little but not bit too wet. Not too wet. And then you just keep it in a warm place and in four weeks, this is the uh, seed that we put in there and it sprouts in three weeks under warm condition and then after this one it, it takes another two weeks for you to have a plant uh, a sprouted ginger uh, like this this is a uh, four to five weeks uh, 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 after planting and you'll see the the, the plant look very healthy uh, ready to be planted in the pot in the high, high tunnel or planted in the in the rows uh, directly in the soil in the in the high tunnel uh, this is a 15 gallon pot, uh, we fill it up half with soilless media and then also Mike what I would do I would add some compost to this because okay. uh, they're uh, heavy you, feeders. It, they, they are very, ginger is actually a very very heavy feeder you have to really constantly feed it if you want to have big fat uh, rhizome to, to, to develop so this is uh, we fill it up with half half of the and that's to the, allow us to mound as it grows so as, as those fingers start coming up we, we keep mound, covering them up yes we mound uh, we mound uh, we mound uh, 
the plant to be able to cover the rhizome with, uh, with soil. So this is a mixture of uh, soilless media uh, and, uh, and compost that we have put together in a 15 gallon pot. And this would be where we are going to plant our one gallon potted uh, ginger. You just simply pull it out. Give you a little bit of careful not to break things. Yeah. And this is a, a nicely developed uh, a plant. And then you just open up a little bit uh, of a space in the middle. So what we're seeing on the side here are really the roots. These are the roots actually. And the yeah. rhizomes are what we're trying we're to harvest. going to develop. It will develop eventually. Uh, so you just plant it simply in the middle of the of the of the pot, and then you just uh, simply push it down, and then uh, you would add a little bit more of, of soilless media around it. Now, will we keep this still, you know, shooting for around 80, 85 degrees mm -hmm. for it to grow? They go in the high tunnel, and eventually, in May, June, July, it would be very hot. Uh, that's as soon as we trans transplanted them in the in the big pots, we transport them to the uh, to the high tunnel. And the high so they don't care about the heat. They love the heat. They love the heat. Yes. The hotter, the better for for ginger. So this is uh, actually an example of uh, one uh, one plant ready to be transplanted in the transported in the green in the in the high tunnel and be kept in there for a period of six to seven months uh, comes september starting from september october november december january and february you would be able to uh, harvest uh, baby ginger all the way to january you would be able to harvest mature ginger from uh, from pot now the other alternative to these pots is to plant it in rows and greenhouses. And you've got an example of a yes, greenhouse we, we can go do. see doing that. Yes, we do have, uh, we could, we could, as I said, the one potted, the one gallon potted plant also could be directly planted in the, in the soil, in the, in the high tunnel that we have some example there. Okay, well, sure. Let's go take a look at this. While growing ginger in containers has many advantages, some growers choose to plant directly in the ground, creating trenches using machinery or digging by hand, filling those trenches with compost or good organic material to assist in the growing of the ginger. Proper fertilization is always necessary. Proper spacing also of planting will yield different qualities and different sizes of the ginger hands. Dense planting tends to create a larger quantity of small roots. Proper covering and hilling up is always necessary as well as drip irrigation so during the hot summer months a successful crop of ginger can be grown. Walk in and kind of walk in it. Smell it. You're not, you're not gonna hurt me. Let's do this one. Uh, you want to film it there, Mike? I'm that one right there next to you. So this still has some of the pinkish kind of quality to it up here you see so it's still in the immature stage but it is browner now than what it was even a few weeks ago so it's beginning to lose some of that real fresh you know whitish pinkish whitish kind of color to it um, just rinse it off as much as we can this one you know is pretty much good to go you know just the way it is without any you know much additional prep to that and leave a little bit of that top when we're marketing it um, and that's probably I'm guessing about maybe five six ounces half a pound um, yeah. Well, now that you as a small farmer are an expert in how to select seed, how to sanitize the soil and the seed, how to plant and grow ginger, now how do you market your product? Open your awareness about the ginger market for you as a small farmer. Ginger's market value, um, the consumer trends regarding ginger, and then some ginger sales strategies that you can use as a small farmer. Um, the U.S. imported nearly $225 million worth of fresh ginger root. The wholesale price uh, was $10 to $44, and organic fresh ginger for a 30-pound box was running at $94.50. The retail grocer prices from $3.99 
uh, to $5.99 per pound. However, where the greatest advantage is for the small farmer is in the direct to consumers ranging from um, for one pound 10 to $16 uh, for a pound, where some farms are actually selling it still yet at one ounce for a dollar. So the excitement of ginger is incredible. Okay, so display thoughtfully. Let's emphasize eating one inch a day, whether it's culinary or whether it's medicinal, and then local grown always, and, um, and just say fresher is better. Because it is, fresher ginger is better than powdered ginger. That's what the literature says. Be a ginger guru. You're supposed to, as a small farm, educate, and, and then also tell people how to store. So educate, um, use credible sources. Now there's a lot of information out there, but I made sure in this talk that there are credible sources. So look at university research, and I gave you that link, which is uh, University of um, the Medical Center at uh, University of Maryland. And then um, George Madelin Foundation, which is um, basically, it's like a Whole Foods Institute. They look at science and they make it consumer relevant. So you want to look at that because they have quite a treatise that is on um, ginger. You want to teach on how to use ginger because the consumer wants to know about it and trust you, but they also need to learn how to use it every day. And so the summary is ginger market is very promising. Ginger is a spice, but it's also a medicine. And promote ginger for the health aspects so that you can corner that market, that consumer market. Growing Ginger in Virginia has been brought to you by a cooperative effort, Virginia State University and Randolph Farm, Virginia Cooperative Extension, Virginia Tech and Virginia State University, and the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.